In the given figure, 5.28 is the diameter. In solving for the area and circumference, we need the radius. And the radius is one half of a diameter. So in this given figure, the radius of the circle is 5.28 divided by 2. which is 2.64. To find the area, we use the formula pi r squared. By substitution, the radius is 2.64 the area becomes pi times 2.64 squared. So we use the Desmos calculator to find the area. This is pi times 2.64 squared. Since the answer is to be rounded off to the nearest tenth, the final area should be given as 21.9 square units. For the circumference, If the diameter is already given, we use pi times diameter. If the radius is given, we can also use two times pi times r. So let us use pi times d because the diameter is given. By substitution, we have pi times the diameter of 5.28. Again, we use the Desmos calculator. 5 or pi times 5.28. 28. Since the circumfer circumference should be given to the nearest tenth, the circumference should be Okay, in number two, three is already the radius of the circle. So to find the area, again, we use the formula pi r squared. By substitution, this becomes pi times three squared. So we use the Desmos again. That is pi times 3 squared. To the nearest tenth, the area should be 28.3.
to find the circumference we will use the formula 2 pi r since the radius is given by substitution you have 2 times pi times the radius which is 3 so then we use again the decimals we have 2 times pi times 3 since the answer is to the nearest tenth circumference should be given as 18.8 .8. In number three, the radius is given as 1.4. So we use again the formula pi r squared to find the area. By substitution, this becomes pi times 1.4 four squared so we have pi times 1.4 squared the answer is 6.2 to the nearest tenth Okay, next, for the circumference, since the radius is given, we will use the formula two times pi times r. By substitution, you have two times pi times the radius, which is 1.4. So we use again the decimals. We have 2 times pi times 1.4. The answer to the nearest tenth is 8.8 units in number four the diameter is three units so the radius should be D divided by 2 or that is the same as 3 divided by 2 so the radius should be 1.5 units now we go to the area the formula is pi r squared by substitution r is 1.5 so that gives pi times 1.5 squared so this is pi times 1.5 
its query. To the nearest tenth, that is 7.1 square units. For the circumference, since the diameter is given, we can just use pi times d. By substitution, we have pi times 3. To the nearest tenth, the circumference is 9.4. Okay, in number five, we only want the area. So a lone sprinkler is placed eight feet in every direction as it rotates. So eight feet is the radius of the circular yard or the area that is sprinkled. So we use the formula A is equal to pi r squared and by substitution it becomes pi times 8 squared so that is approximately 201.1 And that should be in square feet. In number six, the circumference should be calculated using 12 inch as the diameter of the circle. So to find the circumference, we use the formula pi times d. By substitution, we have pi times 12. So we use again the decimals. This is pi times 12 to the nearest tenth the answer should be 37.7 and that is in terms of inch Okay, so in numbers 7 to 10, you are asked to identify the shape that is formed on the plane that cut the figure into section. So here, what is the shape formed from the following intersection? So this is the 
the figuring. The purple colored figuring. And that should be in the form of a circle. In number eight, the cross section, which is the purple colored figure, is in the form of a six sided plane figure, which is in the form of a hexagon. In number nine, this is a four-sided plane figure, and it seems that two sides are actually parallel, while the other pair of opposite sides are non-parallel. So this gives a trapezoid as a cross section. In number 10, this is a four sided figure. Although it appears like a parallelogram, since this is a cylinder where the base is actually perpendicular to the height of the cylinder, so this purple figure, which is the cross section, should be in the form of a rectangle. Number 11, so what solid is created by revolving this shape around the given axis? So if we revolve this around the given axis, this will actually give us a cylinder with a height which is five units and a radius which is three units so if we are solving for the volume of a cylinder We will use the formula area of the base, which is pi r squared times the height from the given figure. The radius is 3 units. The height is 5 units. So the volume, therefore, is calculated using pi times 3 squared times 5. So this is pi times 3, we square it, times 5. So the volume to the nearest tenth is 141.4 cubic units. In 
in number 12, if we revolve the shape around the given axis, this will give us a cone. And the radius of the cone, the base, is 3 units, while the height is equal to 4 units. So the solid that we formed in the revolution is a cone And to find the volume, we use the formula base of the cone, which is pi r squared times the height of the cone divided by 3. By substitution, we have pi times 3 squared times 4 divided by 3. So we have pi times 3 squared, so that is 3, we square it, times 4, and then divided by 3. So that is 37.7 cubic units if the answer is rounded to the nearest ten. So here, it shows that 4 is the only value that is divided by 3. Now, since the numerator is in the form of multiplication, that will not actually affect the final answer. So let us try putting all the numbers on top. by using parentheses. So we have pi times 3 squared times 4. And then to divide the whole expression by 3, you will notice that we get the same answer. Okay, next. Finding the volume of the cylinder. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is the area of the base, which is pi r squared, times the height. So the radius of the circular base is 4, the height of the cylinder is 7. By substitution, the problem tells us to use 3.14 for the pi times the radius, which is 4 squared, times the height, which is 7. So we use again the Desmos scientific calculator. We have 3 
point fourteen times four squared times seven. The answer to the nearest tenth is three hundred fifty one point seven. That should be in cubic units if the unit is given. Okay, number 14. The volume of a pyramid is given as the area of the base times the height divided by 3. The base is in the form of a square. And the area of a square is S squared. So here, the base should be 2 squared. And 2 squared is equal to 4. The unit is given. So that should be 4 square centimeters. Now by substitution, since we already know that the area of the base is 4, the height of the pyramid is 3 centimeters. So we have times 3. Then divide it by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12, divided by 3 is equal to 4. The unit is given, so the volume should be 4 cubic centimeters. Now let us verify that by using the Desmos calculator. So we have 4 times 3 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Okay, number 15. The radius is 9 centimeters. The volume of a sphere is given as Pi R cube times three divided oops sorry that should be four times pi R cube divided by 3. By substitution, we have 4. The problem tells us to use 3.14. So we have times 3.14. The radius is 9. So we have 9 cubed divided by the denominator, which is 3. So we use again the Desmos calculator. So we have four times our pi is 3.14 times our r is 9 cube so we are using a raised to b and then type in 3 to make it cube then divided by 3 okay we move the cursor to the right then divided by 
3. So the volume should be 3052.1 since the answer is to the nearest tenth. The unit given is centimeter, so this should be cubic centimeters. So again, you will notice that it seems like 9 cube is the only part that is divided by 3. But since the operations involved here are all multiplication, the answer is not affected. So we can again verify our answer by grouping the numerator as 1 using parentheses. So we have 4 times 3.5. 14 times 9 cube and then we move the cursor to the right to bring it down we close it with parentheses then we divide the whole group by 3 so you will notice that the answer is still the same as 3,052.1 centimeter cube approximately. Okay, next, in number 15, the formula for the volume of a cone is the circular base, its area, which is pi r squared times the height then we divide this by 3 the radius is equal to 7 the height is equal to 18 So this will give us 3.14 because the problem suggests that we use 3.14 times the radius which is 7 squared times the height which is 18 and we divide this by 3. So again, we use the Desmos. So we have on top 3.14 times 7 squared times 18. We close it with parentheses, then divide the result by 3. So to the nearest tenth, the answer should be 923.2. That should be in cubic units but the unit is not given. Number 17. So this is a spherical. Now the diameter is 6.5 inches, so how much water do you need? To find the volume 
of a sphere, we use V is equal to 4 times pi r cubed divided by 3. But what is given in the problem is diameter. The diameter or the radius is equal to one half of a diameter. So R is equal to D divided by 2. So if the diameter is 6.5, we divide it by 2. The radius should be 3.25. So going back to the formula, we have 4 times pi times the radius, which is 3.25 cube divided by 3. So we use again the Desmos calculator. We group the values on top using parentheses. So we have 4 times pi times 3.25 cube. Okay, don't forget to move your arrow to the right. and then close the parentheses. Then we divide this by three. So to the nearest tenth, the volume of water should be 143.8. But the unit given is inches. So this should be cubic inches. Okay, in number 18. So this should be in the form of a rectangular prism. It is six feet tall. It is two feet wide. And seven feet long. So the, the space is the same as the volume. For a rectangular prism, the volume is length times width times height. So the length is 7, width is 2, height is 6.
So by using the decimals calculator, that is 7 times 2 times 6 equals 84. Since the unit given is feet, the volume should be 84 cubic feet. So that's all we have for this review. I hope you will be able to get a good score in your 3D figures test.